Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Let's review pulmonary hypertension. So what are the clinical manifestations? Well, patients will have dyspnea, exertional syncope uh, from hypoxia and decreased cardiac output. Patients will also have exertional chest pain, possibly due to right ventricular ischemia, and symptoms of right-sided congestive heart failure. So peripheral edema, right upper quadrant fullness, abdominal distension, all these are signs of right-sided CHF that you'll see in pulmonary hypertension. Um, keep in mind that on physical exam you can have a prominent P2, a R-sided S4, you can have a right ventricular heave, and you can also um, have a flow murmur that's present and so it's important to keep these factors in mind. Pa some patients will present with mitral stenosis or tricuspid regurgitation um, and understand that in order to diagnose this well, uh, chest x-ray will generally show dilation and pruning of the pulmonary arteries, enlargement of the right atrium and ventricle, and the ECG will show a um, right arterial dilation, a right bundle branch block, and you'll have also have a right ventricular hypertrophy. If you order PFTs, you'll see decreased in the DLCO and a mild restrictive pattern. ABGs generally show a decrease in PaO2 um, and a SaO2, especially with exertion, and there's a decrease in PaCO2, but the AA gradient is increased. Echoes will show a, a flattening of the septum with tricuspid regurgitation. Now, cardiac catheterization will increase the pressures in um, right atrium, right ventricle, and the pulmonary arterial pressures. And uh, you will probably have a normal pulmonary capillary wedge pressure and pulmonary hypertension. So the workup for pulmonary hypertension would include an echocardiogram to rule out any signs of left ventricular dysfunction, mitral valve disease, or congenital heart disease. A cardiac cath is uh, used for the definitive evaluation of the filling pressures and to rule out any increases in pulmonary capillary wedge pressures or to rule out a shunt. Also keep in mind the chest x-ray and the high resolution CT can rule out any parenchymal lung diseases. And the PFTs generally are used to rule out any obstructive lung lesions and we check the DLCO um, as well. ABGs and polysomnographies are used to rule out hypoventilation or obstructive sleep apnea. And the CTA or a VQ scan is also done to rule out signs of PE. Now, a six-minute walk test or cardiopulmonary exercise testing to establish functional capacity can also be recommended to patients. That was a quick overview of the diagnostic studies, physical exam, clinical manifestations, and workup for a patient who presents with pulmonary hypertension. Please visit comlexflashcards.com and good luck in your preparation for the boards.